43 in a soda. It was the easiest fight of my career. I can't believe they paid me what they paid me to beat that backstabbing bum up. He's a backstabber. He's a guy that, you know, as soon as I started rising up in the ranks, that's when it was an issue. That's when he, his ego came in. He's like, no, fuck you, Colby. I'd fight you for, uh, I'd fight my mom for money. So I'm for sure going to fight you. We're going to fight one day. And, hmm. and then he just, he just started throwing me under the bus for no reason. Like he just started talking shit in media when we weren't even scheduled to fight yet or even talking about fights. And it's so crazy. Cause like gr we lived together for like, you know, a couple years, you know, I lived on his wife's couch, Maritza, the, the woman that he has two kids with that he doesn't pay child support to. Cause he's a piece of shit, deadbeat dad. Like I said, so that's why he got offended because I hit the truth. And he had whatever, he could do whatever he wanted to me in that UFC octagon legally for 25 mm -hmm. minutes. He couldn't do shit. That was the easiest fight. I didn't even break a sweat in that fight. I was laughing at the end of it. He had two guys holding him up. Yeah, like just completely exhausted. The guy's a bum. So yeah, he had to come outside of that steakhouse in Miami Beach and he had to stalk me, sit in the bushes and come and hit me in the back of the head and then knock my tooth out because he hit me in the back of the head, concussed me. He's a world, he's a world class fighter and you know, he couldn't beat me legally, so he had to do it illegally. And he's a cheap shot artist. How can you respect a, a scumbag like that? Look at his past history. He's stolen cars, arson. Like, the guy's a felon, you know? Like, there's multiple things of him saying, you know, oh, fuck Colby and the MAGA movement back in the past. But now he's, you know, best friends with the MAGA. And he, he thinks he's a represent, uh, representative of, of the Republicans. So people see right through him. He's a criminal. He's a slime bag. He's a backstabber. He has an ego. You know, most people in this sport, they have an ego. They can't let their egos to the side. I, I never had a problem with him. He just started throwing me under the bus, and he said, hey, I, I got to hate the people I fight. So it is what it is. Is he at the top of your list of your?